Hello and welcome to another Spass Gaming tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to set up your Lua environment for the following tutorial series on beginning Lua. If you look at the date below, you'll notice that this video is posted after I completed that Lua tutorial series. And the reason for that is my workflow is, is a little bit advanced and it confused a lot of people who were starting out. I should have realized it from the start and should have made a better uh, beginner friendly series because I just was like, oh, you download Lua and then run stuff and it was kind of confusing and it was all on a terminal, uh, which people aren't used to. So I'm going to do a little bit of an easier to uh, a little bit of a uh, video here to teach you how to set up a simpler environment that will be more user friendly for beginners. So uh, what we're going to use is we're going to use this Zero Brain Studio, which is essentially a text editor with Lua embedded in it. It's called an IDE, Integrated Development Environment, which means it gives you a lot of extra features that most text editors won't have. It, it'll make it'll make installing Lua literally simply downloading this this uh, Zero Brain Studio. So that it'll make it really simple. Um, also, once you get into the game development stuff. You'll notice it has love support, so we can have love support built right into our IDE, which will definitely make your life easier if you want to continue Lua development. So all you have to do is go to the download page. Uh, this is a free is free software. You can um, you can donate if you want to, but for now I'm just going to download it. Uh, download for whatever uh, operating system you want on e on Windows either. Uh, on Windows, the, download the EXE installer because what you do is you just double click it, it'll start up and will install Zero Brain for your program and it'll just be in your start menu which will make it a lot easier. Uh, if you're on OS X, you download it, install like uh, similar to how you install any other application, you just drag it into your applications folder. So I have it right here. Um, and once you have it installed, It's not showing up in my spotlight search, but I'll just go to my applications folder. You just double click it, it'll open up, and you will have a nice little window with uh, your Lua code ready to go. So for now, I'm just going to create a new project, a new Lua file. And if this is your first, the first video you're watching, uh, we'll just do a simple Hello World program just to give you the basics of Lua. Uh, then you can watch the next one and then don't worry about the installation there because you already have Lua installed if you've installed Zero Brain. So all you have to do is you have to say uh, print, then in, a, uh, in double quotes, say Hello World. That's it. That's all you have to do to make a basic Hello World program. Then to run your, um, your, program, all you have to do is click this double arrow right here. That's it. You don't even have to go into the terminal or run anything. It's just like this. Uh, make sure you save your file. Save it to somewhere useful. Maybe you want to have a project directory in you on your computer somewhere. Uh, for now, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to just overwrite this one. And then when we run this, you'll get the output hello world here. Uh, and in case this is new to you, you can change this to what, whatever is in the double quotes to whatever you want, and it will print out to our output window. So uh, let's say, I want to say, welcome to the tutorial series. You can just change it in the quotes, double click, uh, click the double arrows, it will run, there's your output. Uh, you get a lot, bunch of debug information, but don't worry about it. Um, you can ignore it for the most part. It's just timing and showing where everything is on your file system. So that's it. That's all you have to do to set up a Lua, your uh, Lua environment for the tutorial series. Uh, follow along with whatever code I'm typing. And um, and once we get into the game development stuff, we'll be able to use Zero Brain uh, to make our lives a little easier when we're trying to debug code and stuff. So thank you very much for watching um, this, quick this quick video. Uh, I hope it helps clear up some of the issues you guys had with installing Lua. If not, um, let me know. I think this should be pretty painless to set up, but I. Um, but if you run into any problems, let me know. I might be able to help out. Uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the Lua series.